أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم أكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتح علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم ورسقنا حلاوة الإيمان وصدق الإخلاص في كل حال أما بعد The subject of marriage brings smile on the face of everyone. Every time you talk about marriage, it is well received, particularly by the youths and those who are unmarried. It is the sunnah fi khalqillah in the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are created in pairs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَخَلَقْنَا لَكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا وَخَلَقْنَا لَكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا that we have created you in pairs, male and female. It is the marriage which brings us together. And together we become a fully functioning unit or a fully functioning creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, They, your wives, are libas, garment, cover, screen for you, and you are the same for them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, وَجَعَلَ مِنْهَا زَوْجَهَا لِيَسْكُنَ إِلَيْهَا You enjoy the pleasure of living with her and vice versa. This is not an ordinary connection, but it is a special connection between men and women. This is the connection through which you tie the knot and you bring two strangers to the closest you possibly can. And this connection and togetherness provides mawadda, rahma, love, mercy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنَّ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ And among his signs أَنَّ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا That he created for you wives from among yourselves لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا That you may find pleasure, peace, tranquility in them وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً And he has put between you love and mercy إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ Surely in it there are signs for the people who reflect In order to be lasting and providing mawadda and rahma in a time when marriage is no longer a glamorous practice instead it is becoming a taboo practice and also the way or the only way you can appreciate this sunnah and preserve this tradition and maintain a happy family in both in prosperity and in adversity throughout in life is by understanding the hikmah behind married life is by understanding the duties and obligations is by understanding the roles and responsibilities in our time in our society and in our circumstances from the Quran and Sunnah we are presented with a greater challenge than ever before the traditional role of husband and wife i.e. the wife is looking looking after the house and the husband is working outside is ever changing and is challenged by the society today women are inevitably working outside whether we like it or not some women are breadwinners how do we reconcile between the western values lifestyle and the eastern values and the lifestyle and the islamic principles values and, and the lifestyle is it reconcilable or is it a no-go area can a husband be a good husband can a husband be a pious husband and similarly can a wife be a good wife and can a wife be a pious wife while grappling between the Western influence and the Eastern influence 
and the Islamic principles, values and family life. It is easy to say follow Islam and Quran and Sunnah and everything will be resolved. As the saying goes, easier said than done. But in reality, we are being exposed to different lifestyles and this has a profound impact on us. I happen to be working for a Muslim mediation service, a conflict resolution organization resolving family conflicts, particularly disputes, conflicts between husband and wife, resolving from a Sharia perspective. Muslim families in the UK are going through many difficulties. The divorce rate is high, the teenage pregnancy is, is also high, the, promiscu the promiscuity is widespread. The problems that we are facing we cannot sweep it under the carpet. We have to face the challenges. We have to deal with the challenges. So that we can hope for a better and rewarding family which can protect us in this world and in the hereafter. The starting point would be to understand from the divine source, Quran and the Sunnah, the institution of marriage, the aims and objectives of marriage, our roles as husbands, as wives, as mothers, as fathers within the family life. Inshallah, in this marriage course, there will be two exclusive open discussions. One on cannot get married and the other one on cannot save the marriage. This course is for those who are wanting to get married and also for those who are getting married or who are already married. Inshallah, come along and we will benefit from this course. Subhana rabbika rabbil azzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.